I'm hoping that you've already sampled the truly excellent documentation that the NetLogo folks have provided. Uh, in particular, if you look up here in the Help uh, menu item, there are several links to their excellent documentation, which are a large number of uh, web pages that uh, you've already downloaded along with the NetLogo program and this will allow you to access it. If you haven't already, this is going to be a very, very quick introduction to a little bit of that. We're going to take a look at the NetLogo user manual uh, for uh, Windows and I think Mac folk, this is, you can just click on this for uh, Linux folks, you may have to go to the website, the NetLogo website to get this documentation, but in any case it's truly excellent. So we click on the NetLogo user manual, we get to the very top page of it. The table of contents is here on the left in blue where you ha can go to large sections of the documentation. Uh, we were just looking at uh, arithmetic and uh, arithmetic expressions and let's suppose that we actually want to do a little bit of mathematics and let's see what mathematics uh, NetLogo is capable of. Um, so that would be under the programming guide, if we click on that, we can come down here and look at math, click on that and get the web page associated with that, and a whole series of information about the, uh, the um, precision with which NetLogo uh, carries its numbers and how to use the various symbols. For instance, the up caret is an exponentiation, so this is two to the 60th power plus one. Um, and we have various issues having to do with uh, um, division and scientific notation and various other things. We can take, took, take a look at random numbers and random number generators, and there are lots of different random number generators in, in addition to the random function itself. Uh, if you're interested in what kind of mathematical functions, what a list of mathematical functions that NetLogo is capable of calculating, we can go directly to the NetLogo dictionary, which has a series of sections showing by topic, showing uh, the various commands that NetLogo is capable of um, associated with these categories. Let's go down to mathematics and here we have mathematical uh, operators. Here are all the various mathematical operators and all the various uh, mathematical functions. Uh, now suppose that you are interested in a trigonometric function like sine or cosine or tangent and and we're interested in how to actually use that. Uh, do they take particular arguments? Uh, what do the arguments mean, etc.? You can either look here, we can see that sine is over here and cosine over here alphabetically and tangent over here, but if you already know what you were looking for alphabetically, you can get that at the top of the dictionary um, by looking at the appropriate uh, letter, starting letter. Let's suppose we're interested in the sine of an angle, uh, so that would be under S, and uh, we'll, sc we'll um, scroll down because it's in alphabetical order, and there is sine. Um, if you use sine, you must follow with, with a number, and the, it assumes that the angle is given in degrees, and if we show the sign of 270 degrees, then the answer is 1. Uh, you can go back to the top of the list and search by, uh, by a first letter, or again we can just branch right down to the mathematical section and take a look at all the other mathematics uh, log and natural log, max and mean and median, all of which uh, NetLogo can calculate. Uh, please try the exercises now.